Today we will be showing you how we replace all SMD capacitors on a first generation digital compact cassette player. In this video we are using the DCC900. All first generation DCC players like the Philips, Morantz and Optimus suffer from leaking SMD capacitors because of the well documented capacitor plague. Whether your player is still working or not, the recapping of faulty capacitors has to be done. Ideally, you recap when your player is still working, because the leakage can cause irreparable damage to the print and other surrounding components. First signs of failing capacitors are weakening output on either the left or right channel, audio dropouts or no audio at all. After removing the main cover, we have to gain access to the two prints holding the faulty capacitors. The first print, which is the hardest to get to, is mounted on the mechanism right behind the player's head. Therefore, you will have to remove the entire mechanism. To gain access, we first remove the player's front that is held with six screws. Then the mechanism is held down with four screws that have to be removed. Before fully lifting the mechanism out of the player, three cables have to be detached and you can lift the unit out. Lastly, you will have to remove the flat cable connecting the first print that needs the new capacitors to the second print we will show you later in this video. The print on the mechanism is held down with only one screw and a flat cable connecting it to the player's head. we can start removing the bad SMD capacitors. We're using a hot air gun to remove them safely. Cleaning is a very important part. To remove any residue caused by the assets leaking from the old capacitors, we double clean each print. First we use acetone with a cotton tip and then put the entire print in a sonic bath for a few minutes. After drying the print overnight, we are soldering new aluminum electrolytic capacitors on the print. We are using regular size capacitors because there is enough room for them and since the print is already brittle from the acid damage, it is much easier to solder on.
now we can mount the mechanism back in place and start working on the second print. To remove the second audio print, we have to remove the metal shield held by two screws. We remove the flat cable and can replace the capacitors on this print as well. After finishing the second print, we connect all the cables and are ready for some testing. perfect result. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this repair video of the Philips DCC 900 player. If you have any questions regarding problems with your player, please do not hesitate to contact us. As always, see you next time.